All right, so it's been a year since I made the last video part of this series and honestly things have changed a lot so I just decided that with the release of the new CMS version which by the way is just the same app that I used in the modding series but it's like a more updated version but while releasing this I just decided why not make a video about it and how to use it it's a lot more simple than the previous like four of the videos just done like that instead of manually doing it all but yeah so that's one thing you have to download as well as we're going to be using map gen version 2.2 because that's what cms is based off of so download this the link will be in the description as well as the link to my website and then download that of course and then come back here website go to astros hoi 4 tools and click download latest version or you could go to the github and you can see all the previous releases so for this video we want version 2.3 it's not out on my sites yet because i'm just going to release them when this video comes out but you can they will be there when this video is out and you can just download them so do 2.3 or any other newer versions past that if you're watching this in the future <laughs> so yeah download those and once you have those downloaded You can unzip it here, extract files, okay. And to download CMS, just click setup.exe, click next. There's a license agreement now. Um, don't worry, it's nothing too big. You're just selling your soul to me and everything you own. But other than that, it's all good. So click I agree, if you agree, next, next. Next, click yes. I don't know if you can see this, but click yes. And it's done. Now you can close and it will make a desktop icon for the custom app setup, but you can also just search it up in here if it'll show up, which it won't. Lovely, always fun. Well, I. You can just open it up through the desktop, I guess, then. And here it is. So we can actually close this for now. We don't need that. What we do need is the map gen version 2.2, which I have in a separate folder, which is... Where is it? Uh, uh, map gen all right so you get a zip you can just extract files and then you'll get this launch that bad boy up minimize it now I'm not going to show you how to <laughs> image design okay that's a little bit above my pay grade you kind of have to know a little bit about it beforehand but here is a guide if you go to the top right corner you can click help it'll show you all the colors you need for each map and there are one two three necessary ones that you have to make and then one optional one which is the boundary input right here so I just decided to do it just in case you guys wanted to show it works but yeah you're gonna have to make these there are, where's the folder? There are examples that come with this though. And you can just like kind of base it off that. So there we go. Here's an example, one they gave of the boundary. Here's the example of the density map. And here's the example of the terrain map. Make sure they're BMP and make sure the image size you're doing for your things are multiples of 64 so the the x and the y have to be multiples of 64 doesn't really matter how high or how far over but um these are the recommended ones i'm not doing that for mine so it does work you don't have to do that exact size but make sure it's multiple of 64 anyways when you're dropping your land input in, make sure to click check for small islands. 
as you can see right there it says it's for that specific but mixed results whatever who cares it'll auto correct anything and if there were any errors about small islands it would show red circles where they are so just go into your map and edit it and fix those obviously and once you have your land in go to your terrain one just paste it in there you can also just generate a planes world i don't know why you'd want that though but province size that is the province density i was talking about drag that in now we're going to play with the province sizes so 30 to 60 no 10 to we can throw our boundary input in there province map <clears throat> so these values right here that i'm showing right here they directly affect your province map when you generate it so click generate and it'll automatically generate one for you beautiful state output you have to play with this one to be honest like that is not enough states for all the countries i want I usually do this one with uh, province with settings like this. I do it on the second lowest. And height map, this one you can just generate. One very important thing to do is input sea level. Change that to 95 and click update. As you can see, it'll get a little bit darker, but it'll just raise the sea level a little bit more so that uh, the coasts are more flush with the water. Because in the last series, they weren't really flush with the water. I made a video kind of showing how to fix that, but it was kind of bad. Anyways, you don't have to do that video. You can just click, change it to 95, click update, and you're all good. World normal, it'll automatically generate with height map. Color map, this one, you can generate, yeah. So I already have one that I like, so I'm just gonna drag it in there. But yeah, you can just generate. Actually, for the sake of the video, I'll just generate it. Okay, boom. Don't, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this age. And we need to save this file. So I'm going to call it color map. Click yes. It'll send you to a website. You can drag that color map. Oh, drag that color map right into there. Click convert now and wait. Once that's done, you can just click on that. It'll download. And then you can just drag it over. You can rename it if you want. You don't have to. I like to for organizational sake, but yeah. Minimize that. Go to river map. I'm going to do 20. You can push your luck, see how much you want. Terrain map, this one you just generate. Now, that color map that we just converted, open file, color map, there we go. Change the mod name, series mod, or not series, uh, custom map mod, we'll call it, and export to game. You can name it whatever you want, by the way. Now just wait, do not click anything, do not touch the program or it might explode on you. And once that appears, then you can click OK. And we're going to minimize it for now, but you can probably just close it. All right, now this is where CMS comes in. There, now it's appearing in the corner. Beautiful, OK. Open it, make sure it's version 2.3 or newer and it's an informational section by the way 
you can website too. Welcome message is just controlled by that. Go to settings. Now mod folder. This is where you select your mod. So go to documents. Scroll down until you find Paradox, Hoi 4, Mod, and Custom Map Mod. That's the one that we just made. Select your mod. Also, there's themes too, which is pretty cool, but that's besides the point. Yeah, uh, I don't even worry about that. Don't even touch that, actually. Don't touch that. All right, and you can close out of that. You can go to, I prefer custom setup, automatic setup is for noobs, so just go to custom setup, process one, and I'm just going to leave a default, click start, wait, once it's done, click OK, that's by far the longest process by the way, go to two, personally, I like the generate, you can unzip the one, but that just does the 1.13.7, so if you're doing 1.13.7, I guess it's okay to just unzip, but if you were doing this past that version, you can just generate them so it'll automatically do up-to-date ones, but you are going to have to select your Hoi4 directory, which is in your main drive or wherever you keep your Steam games, program files, six, or 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Hearts of Iron 4, click start. Boom, done. Process 3, done. By the way, you can save some of these folders. I would not recommend it, but somebody wanted it in the Discord, so I just added it because why not? 4, start. Okay. This one, so you can just put your supported Hoi 4 version, or if you want to check what the your current Hoi 4 version is, just quickly, you can just click check version, click yes, and you'll have to select your Hoi 4 directory, but since we just did it on the other tab, it'll automatically show up here. So just click select folder, and if it finds the file it needs, which it should, otherwise your game's broken, but then it'll just automatically put it right here. So this is the current version, click start, okay, done. Last one, start, OK, done, close, close, and now we can launch Hoi4. Alrighty, so before you open Hoi4, right click Hoi4 on Steam, go to properties, and in this field here, just write minus debug. And now you can launch it. Go to play sets, you can add more mods and your mod will be here. Click click on it, click add to playlist playset. Already did. I'm gonna enable it. You should be enabled. Disable all your other mods. Go to home, click play, and wait. Now an error log should pop up, which is fine, and it may look a little bit scary, but none of this matters except for one thing we're looking for map invalid x crossing this is a very very common issue with map gen version 2.2 and i actually didn't get it the first time so i had to manually make that error but make sure to keep this error log open and you can close way four now what we're going to want to do is go to search up paradox way four mod go to your mod go to map and edit your province.bmp. So I'm gonna use GIMP, because that's the only way I know how to do it, plus it's the uh, editor I always use, and honestly, I think you probably should too. So just open that up, which I actually did have open, but we're good. All right, so now that you have it open, error log, I'm gonna, Put these side by side so I can see. Boy. Make this a bit smaller and drag it over. And boom. So these are coordinates I need to find. One way you can do it is just by, you see how I'm moving my mouse and in the bottom left corner, 
this is changing to show where the mouse is so you could either just find it by that or you could just go into the rectangular select tool and get in the very corner there and in size here we can just do 3782 and 551 then just click on here and it'll show us where error is so right here yeah, it says right here but it's actually right here so you see how four points are crossing right together at this point as what we call an invalid x crossing i can't i it's not allowed to happen so the way to fix it is to simply do that see now three points aren't cross or four points aren't crossing directly on each other so i'll just do that boom done now this is very important click file don't overwrite click export as um, you can keep the name export replace and in here advanced options 24 bits and open compatibility options and make sure this is on do not write color space information is on and click export now you can close that close that and we can stop that and we can relaunch our game Alrighty, nudge, and here it is, our beautiful map. And as you can see, it's right crisp with the water, not like bulging over like last uh, series, or last way I tried to show you guys how to do it. But yeah, you have a loadable mod now in less than 15 minutes, plus um, creating your files for map gen version 2.2 but for now that's everything i'm not sure if i'm gonna continue this series as i don't really see a point but we'll see <laughs> maybe so oh yeah um one other thing is uh map gen likes to just generate random ass cities like literally when you don't even tell it to so um you're gonna have to manually fix that i ha you can just use the cities video that i made to do that also you're gonna have to do trees manually still but we'll see if i add that in a future update automatically you know what i mean Alrighty, that's it until next time peace